I thought you were here to give me an introduction, Coach Randy. I guess I'm not good enough for you. <laughs> All right. So, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I was appointed by Mrs. Seravino and Mrs. Worthman to be the ro uh, head roast master of the six seniors because they're like uh, I guess there weren't enough seniors to consume the time with more senior speeches like there were the last two years. So when that was brought to me, I decided that I will step up to the plate and try my hardest to flame these five guys up here. Um, well, I tried appointing to appoint uh, another le like a league of roasters, but much to my dismay, they all declined me. So now I'm up here by myself trying my absolute hardest to make these kids feel worthless. <laughs> anyway, I'll start with this man, Jared Seravino, since he is first in line. Jared, although, like Coach stated, he is a quiet person in the locker room, he lives a very loud lifestyle outside of it. You can, you can look no further than his car to find that out, because I'll tell you from experience, if you sit in the back of Jared's car with the subwoofers, you can't even hear yourself speak. So, I mean, that wasn't that funny, but... Yeah, loud acts. Anyway, so, um, you know, Jared, with his love of his car and his subwoofers and his tinted windows, we thought would the, uh, he would best suit the award for most likely to end up on Dude Pimp My Car. <laughs> so behind you, Jared, you can find a bag full of all your prizes that'll suit your love for your automobile. <laughs> all right, yeah. I bet you feel like crap now. Cry, Jared, I want to see you cry. <laughs> Next up is this man, Michael Worthman. And uh, Mike, if you don't know, I, I mean, he kind of belongs in the South. He's a very big outdoorsman, loves guns, loves hunting, fishing, and killing terrorists. <laughs> We didn't laugh at that one, the terrorists win. <laughs> so you know, so you, immediately you kind of know what kind of person Michael is. You know, like, America, the, them liberals ain't taking my guns. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the kind of dude Worthman is. And he, he's really passionate about it. He'll find out all the time that Worthman will be ice fishing or just fishing in the summer. Or you can see, uh, like, you can see him, pictures of him with his guns. Really, proud. He even came back with, a, I think, uh, our RU game. Coach Lesnow said, I liked you better last year when you didn't say anything. Now you're a smart ass. Worthman was, was like, yeah, I like you. He's like, I got two goods my coach will ask. But he didn't hear that, of course. <laughs> so uh, with Worthman, just like Jared's passion for his car and Worthman's passion for his guns, we decided that, or I, well, I kind of decided that Worthman is going to be most likely to join the NRA. <laughs> We're gonna need a flamethrower in here because my roasts are fire. <laughs> These dudes out after I'm done with them. Because <laughs> we need to put him out because he's on fire. With a flamethrower? No, you put him out with a flamethrower. Oh, yeah, a fire extinguisher. Oh. The, the tables have turned now, folks. The roast master's getting roasted. <laughs> <laughs> well, my next victim is Sir Eddie Becker, and, oh, you got something to say, Eddie? No, no, I said we're Oh, okay. <laughs> Eddie's not afraid of being tortured with my insults and wordplay. So, Eddie, uh, most people don't know this because Eddie is kind of quiet, but Eddie has a very blatant disrespect for authority figures, <laughs> school board members, and police officers. Eddie is not a fan of those kind of people. But, along with, so, you know, Eddie's, he's an independent man. <laughs> Also, Eddie, when, uh, I'm not sure how many of you know this, but he's aspiring to be an aviation, or go to school for aviation, become a pilot. So one of these days, you'll see Eddie 
you know, decked out in this, the cool, like the coolest suits, you know, because as any said, it makes him look like a gangsta. <laughs> so Eddie will always be the best dressed pilot around, you know, flying planes in the sky and such. And but I mean, I'm no expert on aviation, Eddie, but. The one tip I have for you is to try your best to stay away from Malaysian Airlines. They've been having a tough time. <laughs> you can go anywhere else, but don't. No, 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 no. Stay away from them. So, uh, yeah, behind you, Eddie, you can have your prizes. Yeah. Just embarrassed him. <laughs> Here. Now we're here for uh, Nico Ristic, and uh, Nico is the coolest kid in school, and if you couldn't tell by his over a thousand Twitter and Instagram followers, you just need to give it the 21st century, because if you don't know who Nico Ristic is, I mean, what are you even doing with your lives? Nico, Nico, does, know, Nico does know a lot of people, though. There was one time after, um, I forgot what game it was, but we were... We went to Boston's and he was talking to the, our waitress who was, went to Central Michigan. She did, uh, graduated from Dakota in 2008, I think he said, or she said. And Nico was just rattling off all these names of people who he knew. And it was ridiculous. I couldn't believe it. Nico knows people that Nico doesn't even know he knows. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Like, he, he does. <laughs> yeah. And then Nico, you know, like along with the coolest kid in school, he's a student section leader. And he came in today to the banquet, and he was like, "Oh, I missed the basketball game. I can't be the student section." <laughs> Nico, can you do your dance? Can you do the football? You go. <laughs> can, you do, can you do that? Oh, the yeah, the roller coaster. Let's do the roller coaster. Yeah, let's, yeah, do the have everyone here do the roller coaster, Nico. What's the difference? What's the difference? I'm, re I'm retired. Oh, no, okay, you're retired. Wait. Yeah, what kind of student section leader are you? <laughs> Nico, along with being like the student section leader and coolest kid in school, is also really, really good at getting out of doing physical labor, like <laughs> off ice. At home. Yeah, that, I mean, I mean, I'm pretty good at that too. Sometimes Donna here forces me to. <laughs> I, that's kind of tough. My, if you don't know this, my mom is a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> she, straight, she strikes fear in my eyes like no one else. <laughs> it's terrifying. So, Nico, like, I mean, we think that he could be a good defense attorney because of how good he is at getting out of things like this, but I think, Nico, I think one thing me and Nico share is that we're both just really lazy. <laughs> I, at the beginning of the year, at the beginning of the year after our first off ice before De La Salle, me and Nico you know, coincidentally, we're the last ones to come in from our jog. And I, me and Nico agreed that, like, hey, you know, we can be running mates throughout the year. Next thing I know, I don't have a running mate because he pulled his hamstring. <laughs> Roasted. <laughs> and last in line is Max Whitey, and it was really hard coming up with things to make fun of Max about because. He's really smart. He's good at hockey. He has a, he's like not socially awkward like a lot of the geniuses in school are. He has a lot of friends. He has a girlfriend. So I was here like thinking like what do I make fun of him? I'd be like, ha, you're smart, loser. <laughs> <laughs> but one thing one thing Max does like to eat a lot is candy and or pretty much any other food that doesn't eat him first. There was a, there was one time we were at Potter's house not too long ago when we made some, when Worthman made some nice mac and cheese for us and we ate like we all of us except Max got some mac and cheese in a bowl, but none of us really finished all of ours. So Max took all of our scraps and ate them in about 45 seconds. It was a, there was another time the only time Max has ever visited my house he was in there for about three minutes. And in that three minutes, when I was changing my clothes, Max opened up a brand new bag of donut holes and ate half of them. <laughs> it, was remar it was remarkable. I couldn't believe it. I had to explain it to Mom here. She's like, why'd you eat all the donuts? Hey, you're going to get fat just like your father. <laughs> I had to take a call from you there, man. You owe me one. <laughs> so, for Max's love of candy, he's kind of just become like their team garbage disposal. We all give him all of our scraps, and he consumes all of them. And uh, one one other thing, Max is—I um, mean, I'm sure everyone who's watched our varsity games is sure of—is Max is not afraid to be physical. 
at all. That man, that man Max, he will, he will punch you in a heartbeat. <laughs> There's, there's been some times when we were just sitting on the bench, you know, we were having like a, it might have been, like, most likely was a pretty rough time, and we were all sitting there, not much was said, and then you could hear Max screaming at someone on the ice to, you know, but I mean, you can't repeat those things. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that here. But yeah, Max, is, he, he does show his emotions a lot, and for that we have a, a punching bag for you, or a glove that you can... Yeah. It has the Hulk on it, so the Hulk gets angry, you get angry too, you know? And if you don't know, Max is the valedictorian, so yeah, loser. <laughs> Danny Johns couldn't make it because I guess he didn't want to be embarrassed <laughs> by me, so like a good move by him. These guys, you know, look at, look at the looks on their faces. You can just see the sorrow. You amaze me every day. I love you, Nico. But on a serious note, it, it really was a pleasure getting to play with these guys and getting to know these guys. And I can't wait to play with the rest of the squad over there. And I'm looking forward to a good last year of my hockey career. And, it's good, and I'm definitely going to miss each and every one of these dudes.